y'all what's up my name is Avery and these are all of the books that I hauled in November and December <laughs> a bunch of books to show you today and a lot of them were very thankfully and gratefully from friends and just gifts from people I love every single one of you so stinking much and I can't believe I have such amazing friends to where they send me books like it's crazy to me it's honestly insane <laughs> so first we're gonna be talking about the books that I bought myself and then we're gonna dive into the books that were kindly sent or gifted to me so recently on a trip that I took I ended up finding an old copy of a Nancy Drew book this is a volume number nine which is the sign of the twisted candles and I used to be obsessed with Nancy Drew but I read them all as library books so I don't have any of them myself but these ones are cool they have the black um, stained only top though the rest isn't stained but um, yes this is book number nine in the um, Nancy Drew series there was a bunch of other ones but I just had to just pick up one to add to my slowly growing collection and I really like having the the older books in here because this one just feels and smells old and I love it so I am so excited to have this for my collection then I ended up purchasing the Highlanders Princess Bride by Vanessa Kelly and I purely bought this because of the title and the cover because it is stinking gorgeous I've been hearing a lot of buzz about Vanessa Kelly recently and I think this is in a series actually and I didn't realize that when I bought it which I do often <laughs> this is about Victoria Knight who is the illegitimate daughter of the Prince Regent. She has become a governess and then she travels to Scotland to meet her new charges, the younger brothers of Nicholas Kendrick, Earl of Arnprior. Arnprior. <laughs> but they aren't children at all. They're brawny, wild Highland men. As for the Earl, he's handsome, guarded, and far too compelling, especially for a woman hiding a dark secret. It is a romance between the two of them, I guess, and that sounds really fun i have to real i have to figure out what books are um in this series i'm definitely gonna look that up so i can get to this one then i ended up purchasing never cities of scott by maya banks i have read this this is in my or will be in my december wrap-up if i'm not mistaken um that's probably not out yet but it will be out very soon um but this is on my favorite books of 2020 video if you want to go watch that i'll link it down below for you um this is a historical romance very Romeo and Juliet-esque um, and our heroine is deaf and so I loved the disability representation in it especially in a historical romance. These two people are from rival clans and the king of this Scottish land wants his land to come together and finally not be at war with each other so he tells the laird of one clan that he has to marry the daughter of the laird from the other clan and so it's an arranged marriage kind of thing i just love this book so much i'm not gonna rant about it anymore because this is a haul not a wrap up and i am honestly so glad that i bought it because it's one of my favorite historicals of all time now then i ended up finding a very cheap copy of chasing cassandra by lisa Kleypas. Um, i only have one more to collect a part of this series um and that is devil's daughter i'm pretty sure um but i have completed this series up to this point this was the this is the last book that's currently out right now and I read it in December and I loved it and I'm gonna talk about it in my December wrap-up whenever that comes out but I ended up finding a copy of this and had to snag it it was only like three dollars this is the sixth or I think sixth sixth book a part of the Ravenels series by Lisa Kleypas they're historical romances all centered around this family and um, this is Cassandra's story with Tom and it was so sweet also this cover is just like gorgeous with the couple in there too my only gripe is that our heroine happens to be plus size and our cover model is not <laughs> and I I kind of peeved about that when cover artists do that because it doesn't represent who the character is anyway then I ended up purchasing ugly love by Colleen Hoover this is a Colleen Hoover I have not read yet but I've heard amazing things about I'm not gonna be reading the back because I like to go into her books completely blind but I know that Reagan over at Ruby Reads really loves this book and she makes me want to read it so badly and I am really excited to read another Colleen Hoover I'm probably gonna pick this one up very soon I am very close to getting my hold in from the library so yes I'm not gonna read the summary for y'all but just know that I hauled this one. <laughs> then I of course found and bought 
spoiler alert by Olivia Date. I am so incredibly excited for this book. This just has everything that I want and everybody loves it. This is a kind of like fandom related romance. Um, so our heroine here, she is plus size and she is a major fan of this TV show. People say it's kind of like Game of Thrones-esque and she um, I believe writes fan fiction if I remember correctly, writes fan fiction and she's quite popular and she becomes friends with another fan fiction writer who is our hero, um, but he doesn't say who he actually is and who he actually is is the actor on this TV show. And so they're friends online, but he doesn't know or she doesn't know that that's actually like the guy on TV. Our heroine one day posts a cosplay online of her being one of the characters in this TV show. The girl in the TV show is not plus size, but her heroine is. And so people are starting to bully her and be mean to her online because she is plus size and the character is not plus size. Our hero decides to kind of like defend her or come to her rescue by asking her out as like himself, like actor self, not fan fiction self. And so they go on a date and I'm pretty sure she doesn't know the two personas that he has. So I'm super excited to read this and I've heard nothing but amazing things about this book. I am patiently waiting for the audiobook to come in for the library. It's coming in January, crossing my fingers. Hopefully I will get it very soon. I am so excited. I then found a cheap copy of the hardback version of The Thief by J.R. Ward. This is book number something, double digits in the Black Tiger Brotherhood series. This is a romance I was waiting for for so stinking long. I think I talked about this book in my November wrap up if I'm not mistaken. It was good, just a little let down at the end. I wanted more from the end. Then again, I am very picky about the ends of my romance books. So take with that what you will. But I found this hardback copy of this book and just had to pick it up because I'm trying to collect paperback and the hardbacks of all of the books in this series because they are honestly gorgeous and I love the series very much. <laughs> and lastly for books that I bought myself, I found a hardback version of Marrying Winterborn by Lisa Kleypas. I was in Books A Million um, earlier in December or possibly the end of November, I don't remember, um, and I came across this cheap copy and it's hardback and beautiful and this is one of my favorite books ever when it comes to historical romances. And I had to pick this up obviously for my Lisa Kleypas collection that I am slowly accumulating. And it's just big and bulky and purple under the cover and I really like it. And so I have to find the hardback versions for the other ones too because I want them. <laughs> this is book number two in the Ravenels and I talked about Chasing Cassandra earlier. That's in the same series as this one. This is book number two and it is very good. <laughs> then we have books that were sent to me or bought for me. First, we have five book of the month books. Um, I'm not going to be talking about the summaries in these um, because I've talked about them in a Vlogmas video that I did. Um, and I did a whole TikTok. I got this because I partnered with Book of the Month through TikTok. My TikTok handle is the same one as my Instagram, um, which is just avery.loves.books, I'm pretty sure. Or it's Avery Love Books in one. I don't know. I was sent five books from Book of the Month because I worked with them on TikTok. So I got these ones. So the next couple books are gifts from my wonderful viewers and booktube friends. And thank you all so much much y'all are so sweet i ended up getting say the marquess by uh tessa dare and this was from jen from jen's bookshelf who is on the lovely ladies live show with me and ashley i love her very 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 much she is so sweet and she got me this book this is book number two in the romancing the duke series i'm pretty sure that's the title name no it's castles ever after there we go romancing the duke is book number one in the series there you go. Um, and this one is really good. I've read this trilogy, but I didn't own my own copy of any of them. So I'm just missing book one now. And so I am so excited to finally have this like trilogy in my hands. Also, here's the step back for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> this is book number two in the Castles Ever After series where um, each book is about our heroine inheriting a castle and her falling in love through all of that. And um, this one is about her falling for her very estranged, they haven't talked to each other in years, fiance's brother. So her and the fiance just don't talk anymore. She wants to call off the engagement. And so she goes to tell his brother that she's gonna call off this engagement. And he's like, no, you can't do that. And so he does a bunch of schemes and tries to plan their wedding out and everything. And he ends up falling for her in the midst of all of that. All of that. It's really good and this cover. is just one of the most 
beautiful struggles I've ever seen. Thank you so much, Jen, for this wonderful Christmas present. My lovely friend Zay over at Witty Reads on Instagram ended up sending me The Silent Waters by Brittany C. Cherry. This is book number three, a part of the Element series, and it is my favorite in the series. Our heroine in here is Mute, and she is agoraphobic. And this book takes place at three different time periods where our hero and heroine meet when they are around 10. When she sees this boy, she's like, I want to marry you. And he's like, ew, gross, cuties, no. <laughs> but then one day she's planning their wedding in the woods and she ends up seeing something she should not have seen. And ever since that day, she does not speak a single word or leave her home. So this book takes place when they're like 10 and then it jumps to when she's 18 and then it jumps to when She's in her 20s, um, when they're both in their 20s, and it's just their overarching love story and her like growing through her grief and trying to communicate with other people. This book is honestly amazing and is one of my favorite books of the year of all time. I love it so much and I am so happy that I have it in my collection, so thank you so much say I love you so much then Ashley from Ash Heart Books another member of the lovely ladies book club um she ended up sending me burn for me by Alona Andrews and she knows that I've been really excited to start this series she loves this series and so she ended up sending me book one I don't know a lot about this but I meant to read it for the paranormal romance readathon it just never happened um but I know this is a paranormal romance series that takes place in Houston which is where I grew up and I think it's crazy how like Houston is like the third most popular city in all of the United States and no books take place there. And so I've been meaning to read a book set in Houston. And so I'm very excited to read this one. I think it might be post-apocalyptic too, maybe? Um, I don't know, it's the first in a series and I've heard amazing things about it. So thank you so much, Ashley. I love you so much. You already know that. And um, I can't wait to talk to you about this book once I finally read it. Then Desi over at Genki Reader ended up sending me Where, Where Winter Finds You by J.R. Ward. And this is book number something in the teens. Again, a part of the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. And this is a um, kind of like Christmassy book. It literally says a Caldwell Christmas. And Caldwell is the town that they're in. This is a vamp part of the vampire romance Black Tiger Brotherhood series um, and I believe this is about um, Trez who was in a previous book and then something happened in the previous book and you figure out why. So this is him finding his love story I'm pretty sure um, and I've heard mixed things about this one but I honestly loved Trez's book and I really want him to like get his happily ever after so I'm so excited to read this thank you so much Desi for gifting me this book I love you so much then Melissa over at she's an open book very kindly sent me two books for Christmas which is insane she sent me um, one of her favorite books which is the shadows between us by Trisha Trisha Levenseller um, I have loved Trisha Levenseller books I read her pirate king duology um daughter of the siren queen daughters daughter of the pirate king there you go daughter of the pirate king duology and I loved them they were awesome and so I know that she loves this book this book is just honestly so gorgeous too and shimmery and shiny and I love it um this one is about like I think like a girl being an assassin to this king and then like having to like pretend to be like infatuated with him but she's actually like killing him and then she knows that other people want to kill him but she's like no I want to kill him so she has to like kill all the other people who are trying to kill him because she wants to kill him I think <laughs> I've heard honestly amazing things about this one so that's why I really wanted to get into this and I love Trisha Levenseller's writing so thank you so much Melissa I love you so much you are so sweet she also got me um this book which is a prince on paper by Alyssa Cole, which is part of the Reluctant Royals series. And I believe this is book number three, possibly. I have book number one and I'm dying to read it. I just need to get book number two. And I believe book number two is the age gap one, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't know a lot about this one because this is book number three, um, but Alyssa Cole, amazing writer. I wanna read more of her books and I definitely wanna read the Reluctant Royal series. So thank you so much, Melissa, for both of these books. I love you. Then Keely over at, I believe her channel name now is Sincerely Keely Joe. She changed it recently. Um, and she got me a Crest by Marissa Meyer, the new version, and I am in love. Um, this cover is just honestly gorgeous. And then you have a, oh, you have a step back in there and it's Cress and Thorn, one of my favorite couples literally of all time. Um, and I love how they have step backs in these. This book means 
so much to me and I just needed like the new beautiful edition and so Keely very kindly sent this to me and I love her so much thank you so much Keely I can't wait to like put this with all my other Lunar Chronicle books then I ended up getting the collector's edition of A Quarter of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass from my lovely friend Sarah over at the Bookish Knitter this was my Secret Santa gift um you would have seen my Secret Santa unboxing where I unbox this book and this book is just honestly gorgeous beautiful I am in love thank you so much Sarah this is like gonna be one of my most prized possessions now I am in love with this and you are so incredibly sweet for getting me this book I love you and I am just so happy to like finally display this gorgeous book that everybody has but me <laughs> on my shelves then Jen from the book refuge um, she decided to spoil me <laughs> she got me three books like that's insane Jen you did not have to do that at all um, but one of the books she bought me is a Heart of Blood and Ashes by Mila Vane, which is one of her favorites of the year, and it makes me want to read it so badly by how much she talks about and raves about it. And I believe this one is a fantasy romance where our hero is trying to like take down this kingdom, and um, he ends up kidnapping the kingdom's or the king of that kingdom's daughter in hopes to like persuade him or conquer him in any way. And it turns out the daughter also would like to conquer her dad and it's a romance between the two of them so kind of like enemies to lovers I would expect I haven't researched a lot about this book because I like to go into fantasy romances somewhat blind um, because I love to be surprised and everything so she got me this one thank you so much Jen I know that you love this book and Jen also loves Mind Till Midnight by Lisa Kleypas um, this is the first book in the um, what series is it called? Is it the Hathaway series? Possibly. She loves this book. The hero in here is one of her favorites of all time. And she talks about him all the time. I know that she loves this book and loves this series. And I've been getting into more Lisa Kleypas, as you would have seen by the beginning of this video. I am very intrigued by this one. And then Jen also <laughs> sent me The Lovely War by Julie Berry. Um, this book just sounds amazing. I believe it's about like the gods, like Greek gods and Aphrodite is telling I believe like a love story or is it Athena yes Aphrodite it's Aphrodite is telling the t the tale of four people on Mount Olympus that is filled with hope heartbreak prejudice and passion and reveals that though war is a formidable force it's no match for the transcendent power of love I've heard amazing things about this book i am so excited to have this jen you have no idea i'm so excited to have all three of these books thank you so much i i freaking love you i love you and you did not have to do this to me you totally freaking spoiled me you shouldn't have i am so excited to dive into all of these then my lovely friend morgan from nothing better than a book also all these people will be linked down below for you to check out because i love all of them so she sent me like her favorite book of the year that i've been dying to read which is only when it's us by chloe Leese. and i am so excited for this uh this is a college romance um i think he is her like soccer coach or something like that or they're in the same class or something she is a college soccer athlete and um he is deaf morgan talks about this book all the time and how the disability representation in here is amazing and how chloe lee's just writes amazing books that have disability representation in it so i can't wait to dive into this book i plan on bringing this book to disney with me and hopefully i will be reading it while i'm at disney world <laughs> so thank you so much morgan i love you you are so incredibly sweet i can't wait to dive into this one and i know that you, since you love it i will love it as well probably so the last six books are historicals <laughs> um i went to a thrift store with my mom recently and i found six historical romances that i wanted to buy and so she bought them for me uh as a little extra christmas present which was very sweet of her so first i got the duchess diaries by barbara dawson smith i mainly got this because of the beautiful cover and then the step back she's holding a book look at that 
that's so cute. 10 years as a high stakes jewel thief should have helped me forget Sophie Huntington Ramsey. But no matter how far I traveled, she was never far from my thoughts. Her earthy sensuality, her wild passion, for 10 long years, my memory of our forbidden night together burned as hot as the encounter itself. The thought of her betrayal with my oldest, dearest friend blazed even hotter. Imagine my surprise when I heard of Sophie's widowhood and that her husband, the Duke of Mulford, named me guardian of her young son. Imagine my shock when I learned that Sophie might have had a hand in her husband's untimely death. It seems that fate has brought Sophie and me together once again. When I return to England to claim my role as guardian, I also vow to win Sophie's heart back. I will slowly seduce her until she's weak with wanting. And when I've had my fill with her, I will expose her as murderous. So that sounds super intriguing. I'm super excited for that. Then I found A Necessary Husband by Deborah Millens. I got this because the cover is gorgeous. I need to take the sticker off, but I just love the flowers in her hair. It's just beautiful. When Garrett Lynch bursts into the glittering rainwood ballroom like a wild man, a halfless footman clinging to each powerful arm, Lucinda Devering is equally appalled and impressed. How uncivilized, how barbaric how sternly strong and manly. Then she learns he is the long lost heir of the Duke of Rainwood and that it's her job to transform him into a proper Englishman. And if she fails this impossible task, the Duke will reveal her desperate secret, ruining her forever. Lucinda Devering may be the loveliest woman Garrett's laid eyes on, but her eternal rules and regulations about proper behavior are enough to drive a man mad. Which should he believe? That stiff spine or those soft curls and big brown eyes? One thing is certain, that lush prissy mouth needs loosening up and he knows just the way to do it. But soon he wonders which will be more important, winning this game or winning Lucinda's hand. Sorry if the angle or um, I have changed it anyway, I had to take a little bit of a break. Ooh, there's something in my eye. <laughs> anyway, um, last four books. We have um, Amber Flame by Hannah Howell. I previously read a Hannah Howell DNF'd it. So I'm very hesitant about this, but this book was just honestly gorgeous and I've heard great things about Hannah Howell. And this is the back for that one with them kissing on it. Beloved enemy, captured in a border raid and held for ransom by this fierce Scottish clansman who were her ancestral enemies, bewitchingly beautiful Storm Eldon knew her fate only too well. Travis McLaughlin would not harm her. The arrogant knight had given his word to that, but he would stop at nothing to get her in his bed. Undeterred by her fiery temper, he swept her into his strong arms, silenced her sharp tongue with honeyed kisses, taking her to the edge of rapture and beyond. So that sounds really good. Scottish man. Hopefully I really like this Hannah Howell one. Then I got this book, which is honestly gorgeous. It is Defiant Enchantress by Kit Pratt. Pratt. This is just and then on the back, you have them embracing and then a horse in the back too. It's just beautiful. She had been sold into marriage to repay her cousin's debts, but Rachel Samuels had other plans for her future. Fling Charleston disguised in her widow's weeds, the exquisite blonde was determined to put her unfortunate past behind her and not depend on any man again. Until she met the lean, dark-haired stranger whose tender touch, strong embrace, and fiery kisses branded her soul. The demure beauty surrendered to his intimate caresses, Though she knew he would not stay with her forever, he had ignited the flames of her hidden passion and she vowed to find a way to win his heart. Gray Montgomery could not remember when he had felt worse, but because of the ale he had drunk the night before, he was having difficulty remembering much of anything except the passionate love making he had shared with the beautiful creature who had appeared in his room and had ended up in his bed. Closing his eyes, he could still taste her inviting lips feel her strong silken hair and remember how her slender body had writhed in such sweet abandon beneath him. Just the thought of her sent searing fires through his flesh and he was determined to make her his sultry vixen, his very own defiant enchantress. Really fun. I, of course, was obsessed with the cover so I had to pick it up. And lastly, when it comes to this haul, I have two Kathy Maxwell books. We have uh, The Seduction of an English Lady by Kathy Maxwell. And then this is A Couple on the Bridge and when you open it up, there's the bridge, but now they're over here on this page. And this is just a beautiful step back. I love it. Colonel Colin Manland has wealth, power, everything but a bride. But although there is no mistress of his newly purchased manor, Maiden Hill, there is certainly a resident maiden, 
Lady Rosalind Wellborn, a stubborn beauty who steadfastly refuses to leave the place she has always called home. Tantalizing Rosalind proves to be far more difficult than any enemy he's ever met on the battlefield. She attacks by declaring Colin an upstart who is unfit for local society. He shockingly counters by offering her hand in marriage, and she surprisingly accepts. Although this gentle lady has vowed never to succumb to an unbridled passion, she quickly learns that theirs will be no marriage in name only, but rather a slow, sensuous, and alarmingly effective seduction that turns her world upside down. That sounds so good. I've been meaning to read more Kathy Maxwell, so I'm very excited for that one, as well as this one, which is called The Marriage Contract. And this step back is a little cutout one, but I love those ones. And this is the beautiful step back here. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. He was a man exiled from society, handsome, unpredictable, and proud. Dark rumors surrounded his name, but Anne Burnett had signed a marriage contract binding her to Aidan Black, the Earl of Tybalt. And although she's never met him, she's determined to keep her word and make theirs a marriage in truth because a well-bred lady with little fortune to recommend her has no choice. From the moment she arrived, Anne fell in love with Kelvin Castle and its roguishly handsome Laird. By day, he instills a fierce loyalty to his people with his masterful ways, and by night, he tempts Anne to surrender her innocence to him. But while he is willing to offer her his body, Aiden refuses to give Anne his heart, making her wonder what prevents him from truly claiming her as his wife. So there you have it. Those were the very many books that I got in November and December. Please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to. Again, thank you so, so, so much if you were somebody who sent me a book. I love every single one of you. You did not have to send me something. Y'all are so, so sweet. Anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye, y'all.